Shout out to Brown, Aaron. Boy, Money Brown, he get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. This one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. I just want everyone to know and look at what Canelo Alvarez did for my guy, Kaden Plant. When Canelo Alvarez give you a fight, when he pick you, you get that lottery ticket and you're able to buy new whips. New whips. Kaden Plant. Thank Canelo Alvarez for buying you these new whips. Y'all check it out, fam. Canelo Alvarez get these boys paid. They can retire the next day. Look at what he did for Kaden Plant, everybody. Seventy-two Chevelle, not a seventy-one. That's a good guess, though. Your Nissan might dust it, but that's because you got to be to work on time. That's why you got to drive fast. I pull up to work when I want. I can I drive as slow as I want. Now, I want everybody to know, I'm not saying that Caden Plant didn't have no paper. They couldn't buy him that new car, this, that, and the third. But Caden Plant is living his best life now. He's living his best life, right? So when cats be out there be talking about, oh, well, you know, Canelo this and Canelo that. Yeah, these boys waiting on Canelo to get that payday. They want payday, like Canelo said. Because when they get that payday, they able to buy new cars, new clothes, new houses, new shoes. You dig what I'm saying? You get to live the, 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 you know, the nice life, man. Canelo put them millions in the bank account for these boys, man. And don't get me wrong, they deserve it. They put themselves in position, they got picked. But at the end of the day, it's still on Canelo Alvarez to pick you for that lottery ticket. And that's what all these boys want, that lottery ticket. You understand what I'm saying? They want that lottery ticket. Why? Because they want payday. They want payday. And that's what Canelo do, man. So, you know, I'm happy for Caden Plant. He's living his best life. Um... Like everybody always says, man, when Floyd Mayweather was running the game, he was, he was giving people their biggest paydays. When Oscar De La Hoya was running the game, he was giving people their big paydays. Now Canelo Alvarez is running the game. He's giving people their big paydays. And all I say is, when I say tell Canelo Alvarez, thank you, right? I appreciate you giving me the opportunity. I appreciate you changing my life, right? Putting me on the big stage. Give me a shot at fucking um, history, right? A shot at greatness. And not only that, gave me the biggest check of my life. Because when you look at this situation, right, um, when Caleb Plant go live now, he got more people jumping on the live stream than he ever had before. These are facts because, um, yes, I've been in Caleb Plant live streams, right? I see people from Mexico and here and there and there and there, right, showing love to Caleb, bro. And Caleb, you know, he, he, already, he already had, you know, Mexican homeboys, things of that nature with the low rider gang and shit like that. But he got more now. He got more now. So to y'all cats out there that be talking shit about Canelo Alvarez, um, that want to try to dog him out, say you on this, say you on that, make sure make sure y'all give him credit, you know, for for putting money in these fighters' pockets as well. Yeah, y'all want to talk about all the money that he's making? Oh, he's just doing that to get a payday, and he yeah. Make sure y'all put out there that Canelo is putting money in these fighters' pockets as well. Flat like that, flat like that. 
No if and buts about it. These boys are getting big ass paydays so where they can live their best life. They can retire the next day if they want to. They can retire the next day if they want to after you fight Canelo Alvarez. As long as you do right with your money. You feel me? You got cats out here fighting for six figures, high six figures. Canelo giving your ass motherfucking eight figures. Eight figures. Putting $10 million in these boys' pocket. Plus. $10 million plus. And that's why these boys are lined up and they don't want to lose their O's. Or, or they don't want to go fight the other fighters because they don't want to, you know, miss out on a payday from Canelo Alvarez if Canelo choose to pick them. So they feel like if they got their O, it get them a better chance to get the Canelo fight. You understand? They feel like if they got their O, it get them a better chance to get the Canelo Alvarez fight. But it don't work like that. You got to do something to put yourself in position. Or you got to have something that Canelo Alvarez wants. A O just ain't going to get you a fight, homie. It's not. So to cats out there that feel like, oh, you know what? I'm undefeated, man. And, you know, nobody beat me. And I'm sitting here. That don't mean shit. You got to have something that Canelo Alvarez won't. Or you got to be in position at that division. So if you go up, you put yourself in, in position, you get the fight. Now with the Jamal Charlo fight, Canelo Alvarez want that scalp. <laughs> he want that scalp. He want to go out there and put Jamal Charlo down. Because at once upon a time, Jamal Charlo was in position to fight Canelo Alvarez. He was the mandatory. But nonetheless, Canelo want that scalp to show people that I don't duck and run from nobody, bro. Nobody. And once I scalp this boy and put that motherfucker on the wall, we going to see what y'all say next. Right? I'm going to give him a nice payday. He'll get the biggest payday of his life, even though he got some bread right now. But after he get this check, if he don't want to box no more, he don't have to. If he don't want to box no more, he don't have to, bro. But at the end of the day... Give me my credit and give me my just due for what I do for these fighters. It's, it's one thing about fighters going out there and fight good fighters. But when you go out there and you fight the fighters that, that, that put money in your bank account, bro, that change your life, your family life, your wife life, even your children lives, you got to start, you know, commending those fighters and thanking those fighters the right way. And stop worrying about what haters got to say, right? Because them haters ain't putting no millions of dollars in your fucking bank account like Canelo Alvarez is. They not. You got motherfuckers that act like they fans of yours because they hate Canelo Alvarez. They're not true fans. They just want to hate, and they hope that you're the man that can beat Canelo and hope that you can manage the, the guard there and do something, you know, to try to um, get them some type of narrative, right, to where they can come out and try to diss Canelo Alvarez. But, you know, that shit don't fly. That shit don't fly at all, bro, right? So to these fighters out there, man, listen, if Canelo Alvarez pick you, right, if he pick you to go out there, and, and give your ass an opportunity at greatness. All I say is, show the man love. Don't be disrespectful. Don't try to shit on the man. Bring up shit that don't matter. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're trying to please another fighter who don't give a damn about you and who's not putting money in your pockets or who's not advocating to put money in your pockets or put you in a big fight. They just want to act like they riding with you because they don't like this man, bro. And that's the fact of the matter in this boxing game nowadays. A lot of cats see fighters at the top. They see them at the top, even old fighters. Right? Washed up fighters, <laughs> um, Hall of Famers, some that we consider legends, um, Hall of Fame coaches. You dig what I'm saying? There's, there are all the shit on Canelo Alvarez to take his credit away from him, but they won't give him the credit for what he's doing for these fighters out here and what he's doing for the boxing game. This is the type of thing that I look at. What happened after the fight? What happens after the fight? You feel me? Because before the fight, oh, these person is this and that person is that. And Canelo ain't going to be able to do this and Canelo ain't going to be able to do that. But then when he go out there and he do it to the maximum of his ability and knock him out, then it's always something else, right? Like you got the, the legendary Nacho Bernstein, who I got a video coming on saying that, you know, people told him that Caden Plant um, threw the fight. Like Caden Plant didn't go out there and fight his ass off. He just went out there and laid down after talking all that shit at the press conference. After Andre Ward said that Caden Plant was going to knock him out. After everybody was out there saying Caden Plant is the second coming to Floyd Money Mayweather, and he's the style that Canelo Alvarez doesn't want to fight. But when Canelo go out there and break that style down, knock his ass out, knock Caden Plant through the fight, and he laid down. You see the double standard in that shit? But when Canelo said he go knock his ass out at the press conference, everybody, he ain't finna knock out Caden Plant. He ain't never knock out this fighter. He ain't never knock out that fighter. But when he go out there and knock his ass out, now it's a different story, huh? It's a different story, huh? Yeah, I know how y'all get down, man. But at the end of the day, man, Canelo Alvarez is, is changing these boys' lives. I'm happy for them. Don't get me wrong. They go into the gym. They put the hard work in. They in the ring taking that Canelo ass whooping, right? You line them up. You sign them up. Canelo go fuck them up. So they in the ring taking that Canelo ass whooping, that ass beating. They deserve something on the back end. They deserve something on the back end. But at the end of the day, when we tell y'all this shit, 
And we say that Canelo is the best of the best out there. When we say Canelo is great and that he want to be great because he's the most disciplined and he's putting in the hard work and he's bringing in the money, he's putting the asses in the seats, then y'all need to start concurring with what the fuck we're saying and get that man his credit and his just due and quit being haters. Quit being haters. And I'm going to let y'all know this. Jamal and David Benavidez is on Canelo Alvarez's hit list. Jamal Cholo and David Benavidez is on Canelo Alvarez's hit list. So to the ones think he's ducking Jamal and David Benavidez, uh-huh, hold on to your coats. <laughs> hold on to your coats. When Canelo go out there and finish them boys and knock their ass out, y'all give him his just doing. Don't bring up no more names. Don't bring up no more. Don't say shit about 175. I don't give a fuck if y'all do want to say fight better be than Bebel. Don't say nothing about 75. Y'all just give him his credit when he knock Benavidez and Jamal Cholo the fuck out. And thank him for changing their lives. Because you go give him the biggest paycheck that they ever got, and that's what they really want. You feel me? I feel like Benavidez and Cholo, they probably want to be great, but the, the main thing they want is that Canelo Alvarez paycheck, and we all know that. So, shouts out to Canelo once again for helping Caden plan out, giving him the biggest payday of his career, right? Help changing his life forever, right? Putting him in position to buy new whips, new houses, and take care of his family, man. Cause that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Boxing don't last forever, but you want to get in to become a world champion and make as much money as you could. And on that fight, Caden Plant made as most money that he had ever made in his career in that Canelo fight. And that's a fact. And I'm not pocket watching. I'm just calling out the facts to the ones who love to hate out there. You feel me? I'm happy for Caden Plant. Keep living your best life, champ. Keep buying them nice whips. Just, um, you know, spend your money wisely and invest for the future. That's all I'm going to say. Shouts out to you. Shouts out to my guy Canelo. Continue grinding, King. Go out there, become the greatest Mexican fighter of all time, and one of the greatest to ever lace him up. Until the end, it's your boy Monty. It's the NSBC moving. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Money on Cash App. TreyHampton52 at gmail.com or PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.